Virgo Moon, welcome. Welcome to your mini reading and welcome to beautiful Balmoral Beach here in Sydney, Australia. I hope you like this location. It is so gorgeous. The sun has just absolutely sunk there. I've put on my warm gear. I don't know if, which tape I'm using, but there's another tape where I'm wearing a yellow t-shirt. It's cold now, so I have to rug up. And I'm gonna take you through two things in your reading. We're gonna have a look at the future and we're gonna have a look at the past. These are the two big things that we're gonna be taking a look at. Uh, what's happening for the future, future-wise? So we've got Mars Rahu sharing Gemini from 7 May 2019 to 22nd June 2019. That's happening in your 10th house. So let's take a look at this. Okay, this is an interesting one for you. Um, this isn't the best uh, of transits. You want to be careful of how you handle seniors at work, for example. You want to watch what you say at work. Be careful, right? You might want to take some time. Um, read and reread emails before you hit send. Classic bit of advice there. I always need to, to heed that bit of advice myself. A lot of energy in your 10th house and you can, you can play this so that you win. But it's, it's going to be something that you do strategically, right? Think strategically about your career and look for opportunities to build the next step or platform up in your career. But it's not a time to, to put your foot on the accelerator and go for it. It's a time to think strategically about where you want to go, about that future um, that you want to build. And it, it could involve a change. It could involve a career change. It could involve you doing the thing that you've always wanted to do, right? You realizing that this job that I'm doing is not working out, I really wanna be out there doing something different. So this is a time to strategize about that. The past that you'll have to do with. So we've looked at the future, we're gonna have a look at the past now. So the past, we've got Jupiter retrograding in Scorpio till 8 July, 2019. That's happening in your third house. So you're gonna be covering some old ground here and think back to Jan, Feb, March those months there's something of that that you're going to cover again now right so how well you did with it then you're going to get another go or you're just going to have to deal with the same again um, so that's covering old grounds in relation to siblings perhaps in relation to peers peers at your work um, friends of yours things like that could be in relation to a hobby as well even in relation to a hobby that you want to turn into a business or something um, you could be covering old arguments, patterns, dynamics. Those could be coming up again. So just take your time. Things will change once Jupiter clears from this area. Okay, so it's going to be okay. Uh, next order, Jupiter retrograde. Let's just do a little check-in with Saturn K for conjunction. We've got that happening next door, um, in the house next door. So through old things, new light is coming through. And that's new illumination in relation to your home in relation to fourth house of home, anything connected with your home, perhaps in connection with your mum as well. So the other thing I've been telling all signs is that if you feel that you're stuck in the past and nothing's really changing for you, then you need to step into the future. Okay, and you need to put your free will energy into the future and you need to start creating the future. And you need to get going on that, right? This is something that's been coming up in the readings that I've been doing as well that um, light workers are needed now more than ever and if you're not on your light worker path that you want to be you have got to get on there and I've got to push you to get on there and in whatever little way you can get started maybe you're creating an Instagram page where you're just putting your poetry up or your pictures up or make some small start in terms of you getting out there and doing what it is that you really love things that recharge you things that charge you up you know you've got to be spending time on those things so you've got to be creating the future because there's a lot of past energy a lot of heavy past energy going on and all of us have got to get our hands into the future so guys i'm going to leave you with that thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you next time hey guys i thought i'd share with you this beautiful scene so i was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene, isn't it stunning?